And we are back. No long intro, all right? So we're going to get into the preseason footballs today. Your yeah, first round offensive lineman and your third round offensive lineman, TG and BB. That's who we're going to be looking at today, man. I just want to give a shout out to TG and BB, both of them for working hard. But I just want to give a shout out to Duke Mannyweather because the, the, the Tyler Guyton that you got from Oklahoma to Tyler Guyton to Duke to Tyler Guyton that we that we have today those dudes are three totally different dudes okay shouts out to all the hard work that him and his coaching and all the other little guys I'm not giving Mike Solari no credit uh shouts out to all those guys uh, that are uh definitely putting in work now Tyler Guyton still got some old habits right take a look at him you're gonna see him lean a bit right here right and and, and look man leaning ain't ain't good for your health why because you know it 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 throws off your base his feet got real narrow your, your eyes are down you can't damn see you're leaning forward your weight's not evenly you need to be shoulder width apart you know what i'm saying uh, tyler guy is none of those things right now because he's leaning he probably just leaning because he missed with his hands and that's that's all right yep he missed with his hand but it's cool because tyler guyton's feet put him in perfect position his feet and his ability to travel the lightness of his feet they're not over encumbered they're not heavy the 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 movement ability put him in position it's never okay to lean but if you're gonna lean you might want to lean when you're in good position because when you're in good position it lends you the ability to recover and that's one thing that i probably had mixed up about tyler the whole time not you know not the 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 player that he was because i i do think at the end of the day he is who i kind of said he was he just kind of worked on his stuff but the one thing that i that i will say missing on his athleticism is always going to put him in position and him always being in position will always allow him to recover take a look at this play tyler guyton working on the outside and this is one thing that we was talking about last year with uh with some uh with some lengthy offensive line because if there was a if there was a year to get lengthy offensive line and it was last year but the arm length right here, Tyler Guyton working his way. And look, there's there's levels and there's stages to using your arm length, of course. Uh, the one thing that I love right here, boom, we're going to keep our, our elbows bent. We're going to keep our elbows tucked. And then when it's time to engage you fully, we're going to extend. Here, here, sir. Here, here. I'll tell you why that's important, right? You always want to keep your weapons in the tuck. When you fight, you keep your hands up. You aren't fully extended in punch mode when you first get into the fight. You have to extend into your punch. Offensive line works the same way. If Tyler Guyton would have came off the ball fully extended, then yeah, 51 would have had a better chance of beating Tyler's hands. But if your hands are in the holster, it's hard to get hands off you. If those elbows are tight and bent, it's hard to get elbows and hands off of me. But if I get you and then my 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 elbows are tucked my weapons and my hands are tucked then i extend on you it, it, it's just a much better block for me it's, it's a much worse time for you uh but the block works out for me better because now i could be strong with my legs early but then i could be strong with my arms and my length later on in that rep appreciate y'all for listening to me ramble uh tyler gets a little bit of miss with his hands here but that but this is why i actually saved this rep to show it to you right he may miss with the hands they're a little high right now he's actually trying to just force this guy upfield right here but uh 51's giving him you know giving him a bit of a hard time but i love the actual finishing here right hey look i didn't get you on the first half of the rep that's fine I'm not just going to give you the win at the end of the day. I'm going to try my best to, to just continue to fight. And, you know, if if uh, if, you know, there was anything that we had criticisms about Tyler, you know, technique, sure. But it was like anger and ass whoop, you know. So I'm just seeing a lot more trends in the right direction here. 13, 15. I'm seeing a lot more trends in the right direction here for Tyler Guyton take a look at him this place schoolmaker right there what schoolmaker gone <laughs> don't even worry about it but hey once again arm length and extension okay tyler guyton right here just another example elbows are tucked perfect elbows are going to extend to get you up out of here 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 just one holler it's all good let's see what else we got for you on the plate 1340 I think we're gonna kind of do film sessions like this. I'm gonna take my notes beforehand and let y'all know what the business is, and then I'm gonna, uh, you know, fast forward as we go. Also, too, we're we're going to watch the full film session tomorrow. So I got like a couple of plays for y'all, uh, but tomorrow on Patreon.com/slash Lombardi, we're gonna watch the whole thing. We're gonna watch all the offensive linemen, all right? or D linemen, whatever they they vote for and decide that they want to do here. Let's see what happens on this play. 
Tyler Guyton is at left tackle. Of, of course, we got an op creeping in. Look at Tyler Guyton looking over at him. Look look at him looking over at him. At first, he was looking right here. Or he was looking over here or something. I don't know where he was looking. But then the op pull up late. He going to look over there. Man, that's just kind of fly, man. Let's see what you do here. Fantastic feet. Here, here. Oh, not. Hey, man. Fantastic feet. Fantastic feet. Ugh. Just, 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 just look at him. Chat, let me tell you what actually happened here. He actually overset, right? So his positioning wasn't, wasn't perfect at first. He overset, but he was like, damn, I gotta get back to the inside. And then his feet took him back inside. And he was like, damn, I gotta get back outside. And his good ass feet took him back outside. Here, here, here. Shouts out to Tyler Guyton, man. Also, too, as offensive lineman, sometimes we can hold. We just got to hide it. This a little hold right here, right there. It's a little hold right there, but it's cool. Nobody can call it. Sometimes you, sometimes you, you just got to be a little be a little sneaky and discreet, man. But Tyler, TG, putting himself in fantastic position, fantastic feet right here. I'm just blown away with, with you know, the amount of growth that he's shown, man. But he, he had a really good day. I got one more play for you. He had a he had a he had a really good day. I'm incredibly proud of him and the work that he's put in. But uh, uh, I think he's ready, man. I think he's he's ready to go ahead and take over and be a a day one rookie. Is he ready to go play Miles Garrett right now and the Ravens kids and you know Kayvon Thibodeau and all those guys with the Giants, Brian Burns, the Eagles kids? Is he ready for those guys right now? Hey man, we're going to see. But is he better than Chuma Doga right now? Yes. Is he better than Josh Josh Ball and Matt Walesco? Well, He's better than those guys right now. Here we go, taking over the inside, showing a little bit of strength, getting some good push on the inside there, measuring measuring length here measuring length making sure nothing you know nothing's coming back inside from this thread right here nothing's coming back cool i'm just gonna deal with you one-on-one -on -one right now and tyler guy does a really good job of just sweeping this dude to the inside man uh i lied i got one more play to show y'all and this was probably a play that you saw some of your favorite cowboy characters tweeting about look at tyler guyton getting in the open space blocking Jalen moreno cropper and the dude that he trying to block here here <laughs> Hey man, y'all ain't trying to celebrate with me, dog. Y'all, y'all, y'all ain't happy for real. Y'all ain't happy at all of the developments that have been going on with your left tackle situation, man. Y'all just, just celebrating the comments for me. I'll be watching. I'll be, I'll be down there talking to y'all. Now, gotta have a conversation about our center, man. Y'all know I'm always trying to advocate for the powerful center. When we was in the draft process last year, I was a humongous advocate for the powerful center. You want to have a powerful center because in some situations, your center may not always be able to get help. And in those situations, you want your center to be able to deal with the one-on-one -on -one situations. Like, so you hear what I'm saying? Marco, Marco, you hear what I'm saying? You, hear what I said? you want them to be able to deal with these one-on-one -on -one situations, man. And there was a lot of times where, you know, somebody lined directly up over, you know, Beatus or something like that. They'll end up winning that exchange because they're way more powerful than Beatus, okay? But Cooper BB just just has the ability to be strong and nasty and, and look i love him as a help guy right here because as center a lot of your job is like helping others you know what i'm saying we are we are a non-profit ass whooping organization that's what that's what that's what centers are right i i'm just i just really love let me get, let me get, a, get a new marker right here i love how bb can give you a little work to one side to help tj out you see bb's eyes are in the right direction take a look at his eyes you see his eyes are in the right direction and then once you feel like bb is cool man let me just come over here and help awesome riches like that's what bb gives you but then you don't have just a regular center dude giving you help you got like a strong center like delivering blows and such you know what i'm saying like a powerful dude delivering blows and that's really what i wanted in this whole center conversation man just somebody i don't have to hide the last time we didn't have to hide a center was like Travis Frederick, man. And and and, and Trav, Trav used to go out there and whoop people by himself. But then you combo Trav with uh you know Ron Leary with Zach Martin. Are you you really trying to party then? You really trying to party then. Take a look at Cooper BB right here. And mind you, you know, starting off lined up somebody directly over Cooper BB, right? And 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 if you a guard, yeah, you can deal with, you know, these 
these two techniques a little easier than you can as a center dealing with a one technique because centers got to got to like we got to snap the football we have to ensure that the ball gets to the um to the uh, quarterback there so being able to snap the football get hands up quickly boom engage somebody directly over you but then still have the eyes right have the eyes to look around for you know somebody coming back on gap exchanges stunts and sweeps right if you take a look at BB, what he did also, I'm starting to think this is a Duke Mannyweather technique because I also see uh, Tyler Smith do this also. When we pass guys along, we don't just pass them along. We slam people into the, the guard that's helping us out or the center or the tackle that's helping us out. Whoever our gap exchange partner is, we don't just pass them along. We slam them into somebody else, right? And, and Tyler Smith did that a bunch last year. So I'm thinking maybe that's a... Um, you know, maybe that's something that Duke Mannyweather's teaching our guys. If he does, it's a fantastic technique. Appreciate you. But um, you know, I'm just I'm just uh I'm just seeing a lot of you know different tools that's added to our arsenal as offensive linemen here. Let's take a look at BB at center here. I'll I'll identify him because he won't be at be at center the whole time. BB at center right here. Let's see what happens. Just dealing with the just dealing with a dude. The power dealing with a with a three hundred pound man lined up over you. And look, I know it's preseason, man. But if you beating the shot at the, at the second at the second team dudes, the least you could do is give a good fight to the to the first team guys. I'm, I'm ready to see BB start at center next game. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I I need to see what BB looks like versus some 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 real life dudes versus some some real you know targets or whatever. You know this this uh you know this level of competition is fine, but. You know, I, I want to see BB versus some real dudes that we might be seeing in the regular season. BB just putting a little dirt on somebody. I just want to dog DeMarco. Don DeMarco, DeMarco. It's some people out there that hate when I dog DeMarco, man, but I promise y'all to be just fine. Pardon the pixelation on screen. It came with it like that. But BB just out here putting people on, on the ground, messing their pants up, messing their little yellow pants up. You know what I'm saying? You know how easy you can see green grass stains and yellow pants, bro? Like... I'm so excited for BB, man. I just think he needs to just get his shot. He needs to just get his opportunity, bro. You know? And, you know, I understand, man, snapping the football is a very important part of, of, of not, not just playing center, but snapping the football is the most important part of the offense, right? BB getting out here and, 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 and blocking somebody in open space. And I, I, I'm not making this BB versus Hoffman right now because this is a game, and You can just evaluate these guys on their own, man. But Hoffman missed on his screen, man. BB did not, man. Just just getting some work downfield. Like, bro, I'm just I'm just super excited about the center competition. And I, uh, apparently, according to the Cowboys, it's not much of a competition, man. But, you know, man. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get Brock up out of there. Man. And look, shouts out to Brock, man. I ain't got nothing against Brock. If Brock is playing, if Brock ends up, you know, fantastic or whatever, man, I'm 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 cool with that, bro. But like I'm I'm trying to elevate to to you know to higher highs. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to get back to lower lows, you feel me? BB is at guard right now, okay? Let's just be aware of uh, BB at guard. Look, BB didn't didn't play at guard too too much. He just did a bunch of this. He just did a bunch of sitting down and beating the hell out of people just just for no reason, just for no apparent reason. Let me just see what the next what the next the next play is before I get up out of here. We ain't doing nothing. Else, right? Let me just see what the next play is. Let me just see what the next play is. Let me see what he's doing. We got BB right here at left guard. Let's see what he's doing. The very next play. What the business is? Moving guys along. Look totally available to 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 pass this guy along but nah it's fine i'll take care of it hey that, listen man that's all i got for y'all if y'all want the full film says y'all can tap into my patreon patreon.com slash vosh lombardi i'll be dropping that tomorrow and i'll be dropping the d line film the day after that all right so y'all come tap in man i love y'all the peace y'all hold down for the dosey walls and the peace uh till next time man peace